readings. Our readings today are Leviticus, chapters 8 to 10. In chapter 8, we read about uh, the rites of ordination. And in chapter 9, it's on the eighth day that Moses summoned Aaron and his sons, sons and the elders of Israel. Uh, that eighth day will be significant in just a second. In chapter 10, we read about um, Aaron's sons, Nadab and Abihu, and how they took a censer, put fire in it, laid incense on it, and they offer an unholy fire before the Lord, uh, a fire that was not commanded of them. Now, I was reading a resource. It's a website called uh, Enter the Bible, produced by Luther Seminary. And uh, I'm going to paraphrase a little bit of uh, what I was reading. Um, Enter the Bible points out in this scene in Leviticus that uh, priests have a dangerous job, that approaching the Lord, uh, when approaching the Lord in the sanctuary, that God's holiness is so powerful that uh, there much, much preparation needs to be taken and God's instructions should be followed precisely. Uh, they compare it to like a strong electrical current that God's holiness could destroy or would destroy anyone that is careless in approaching God. So, and another um, uh, thing that might be significant here is that uh, Nadab and Abu kind of mirror other biblical accounts of creation and sin. So enter the Bible reminds us that, um, hey, this is a seven day ritual that they went through and being ordained and on the eighth day they sin and they're destroyed. Um, in Genesis chapters 1 to 3, the world's created in seven days. It's very good. And on the eighth day or later, Adam and Eve sin and are banished from the garden. We look at Mount Sinai and God establishes a covenant with the people of Israel. Um, he begins to give them instructions for the tabernacle. And then what do they do? They make a golden calf. They worship it. Um, and so we see sin, right? Uh, in, in all of these... Uh, accounts uh, God's creating um, uh, and then uh, human beings are sinning immediately and then God recreates and reestablishes a relationship with the people and so uh, the story of uh, Nadab and Abihu are uh, fitting a pattern is what enter the Bible points out to us now the the eighth day means uh, something pretty significant for cre uh, for Christians it's it's a new creation. Sunday becomes the, it's the Lord's day, but it's the first and last day of the week. It's a new day, right? In John chapter 20, uh, verse 26, some translations would say eight days later, the disciples were again together in the house uh, and Thomas was with them. So um, the resurrected Christ appears to them again. And uh, we know how that, uh, the infamous Doubting Thomas story ends, but it's eight days later. Uh, uh, that's uh, that's a significant piece there, um, probably and perhaps a connection to what we're reading in the Old Testament that God is redeeming uh, and, and restoring a relationship, and this God is approachable and wants to be in relationship with God's people.